So we're getting into winter, and in Seven Kin Homestead style, I am so far behind that I've been lapped and I thought I was in first again. One of the many things that I need to get done before winter actually gets here is replacing the battery on my mother-in-law's motorhome here, the coach battery, the one that runs all the electronics inside. Uh, the lead acid battery that she had in there has gone bad after only about a year and a half. Uh, and I figured maybe we could upgrade her a little bit. Why you might ask? Well, I love my mother-in-law and it scores me points with Carrie. So when the folks over at Watt Cycle asked me if I had an application for their 4,000 watt hour lithium ferrophosphate battery, I thought to myself, that's a great way to score points with my wife. So let's install it. I'll tell you a little bit about it and we'll see where it goes from there. So the first thing we got to do is take out the old battery because like I said, it's gone bad. Huh, I wonder if that thing's gonna even fit in here. We'll make it fit. A lot of people will say that they prefer to use lead acid batteries and I was one of those people for a long, long time. But the problem with lead acid batteries is that they only have anywhere between 300 and 500 cycles when they go from fully charged to fully discharged. Uh, and when you're living in an off-grid sort of a situation, my experience has been that you are going to discharge them significantly more often than you think you're going to. So if you discharge a lead acid battery once a day, it's only gonna really last you about a year, maybe two years. I know a lot of people will argue with me about that, but that's been my experience. I should probably be using a socket wrench for this. Now, the other thing about lead acid batteries is that they're, they're not very energy dense. This battery I'm taking out is 70 amp hours at 12 volts. And 70 amp hours isn't very much. The lithium ferrophosphate batteries are significantly more energy dense. So a battery that's kind of similar in size could have three, four, or even five times as much energy storage in it. And you can discharge them all the way to zero, 10 to 15 times more times than you can with a lead acid battery. So they last a lot longer. Double the price, but 10 times the usable lifespan. And that makes them a significantly better value, especially for an off-grid situation. When you compare the size of these two batteries, they're not significantly different in size. Maybe 10% bigger on the lithium ferrophosphate battery. But the lead acid battery is 70 amp hours, whereas the lithium ferrophosphate battery is 314 amp hours. That's a lot more power. And with any luck, that will prevent my mother-in-law from not having her electric heater that she has in her motorhome here during our very cold winters. And then me getting to hear all about it the next day. That's an added benefit. All right, so this is gonna be kind of a tight fit. I might have to make a couple of modifications, but uh, I think we can make it work. First, let's try and see if it'll just slide right in. Oh, so close, so close, okay. All right, so not quite. Maybe we take this rubber liner out. Maybe to like right there. Get in there! Get in there! Yes! <laughs> now one thing you have to concern yourself with when using lithium ferrophosphate batteries is any lithium chemi chemistry doesn't actually charge well uh, in freezing temperatures. So 
Later, I'm gonna insulate the out inside of this box because it is open to the outside uh, and probably put a small um, like mat heater for a like a greenhouse. And that should give enough heat to keep this from triggering its uh, low temperature shutoff, which is a safety feature on these so that you don't actually damage the battery and it extends the life even more. So that is a useful deal. All right. The other thing I like about this battery is it has a Bluetooth connection that allows you to hook it up to the Watt Cycle app. It's nice because as long as you're close to the battery, you can always tell what's going on with the battery. And it's a feature that on my other battery bank, I wish that I had so that I knew exactly what was going on with the batteries without having to go through an entire troubleshooting checklist. The app just kind of tells you what's happening. So that's uh, very useful. Clean all the muck from the lead acid batteries off of there. All right, let's see if we can get the stud to fit now. Nope. That's not gonna work. Okay, that I'm a fan of. They actually include longer studs in the box, which my other batteries did not do. Yes. All right, because it's so close to the step, also put these little plastic insulators on. And it fills that space quite nicely. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. This has a hundred more amp hours than my other batteries for my main solar in about three quarters of the space that that one takes up. I have a feeling there's a lot of air in that case. This is very compact, so let's see if it works. No sizzling, that's always a good sign. It's been a couple of days with this battery installed and I wanna just check out the condition of it. Let's see what it's actually doing right now. All right, it's in there and uh, so far everything's been working and the DC power hasn't gone off at all. Searsha. Searsha. But the AC power has been off. The TV's still on. Let's see. Look at that. Battery's still fully charged. So I'm going to say this is the way to go. So I am really happy with the quality, the storage amount of this particular battery the size of it, which made it really easy to just install it in the existing battery space in the motorhome. Uh, but I gotta say, I haven't been able to find a battery that was this quality for a cheaper per watt price. So I, I gotta say the best part about it is the value. So if you wanna look into getting one of these or a few of these for your own solar system, for your RV, for your golf cart, for your scissor lift, or whatever else other application that you could think of for it, uh, check out the link that I put in the description. And uh, not only will you get yourself a killer lithium ferrophosphate battery, but you will also be supporting the channel, which helps us to continue to make the content that we do. And if you stayed all the way to the end of this video, but that didn't do it for you, we have puppies. <laughs>